Hey everyone, today we're checking out some amazing new design tools, news, and a lot of cool events and competitions also coming up. So watch till the end to get a summary of everything that happened this month. All right, so the first update comes from your favorite design tool, Figma, and they are finally giving you an option to select whether the panels should stick to the edges or they should be floating like they did with the new UI3 update. Now this is making everyone so excited because a lot of people didn't find this very usable and, and it felt a little distracting to them. So this will help out a lot of those people. Everyone's gonna get this update by October 10th along with a lot of other new updates. You can always swap between the fixed and the floating versions with the keyboard shortcut of shift plus backslash. Apart from this, another big announcement Figma did was to a new feature called duplicate and rotate. So in this case, you can just duplicate an element rotate it a little bit and then when you duplicate it again with the duplicate shortcut it just creates a nice little circle with all those elements this will allow you to create those stylistic arc text images graphics etc in seconds instead of using plugins you can do this now natively with figma which is a huge one for me because i use it very often now talking about figma and other similar design tools creator is a new competitor However, Creator is trying to create a new style of design tools, simplified, productivity-focused kind of design tool. Creator has a lot of cool features, including this left panel, which includes quick shortcuts that you might need. It definitely focuses on a lot of drag and drop elements, design assets, etc., already inbuilt into this tool. So you take half the time in a tool like this. There's a dedicated user flows feature which helps you create user flows between different pages and connect different pages based on information architecture. And of course, it has all the collaboration features as well. So consider this a compressed version of Figma where a lot of features aren't there, but all the necessary ones for quick prototyping, for quick UI, are existing. So really cool, well-designed tool which you can try out today. Figma is suing one of its big competitors. A new competitor called Motif on which I even made a video and was openly challenging Figma and saying we are better than Figma by bringing some cool AI features which even impressed me. However, turns out they use some of Figma's source code in their own app which honestly is a little scummy if you ask me. You just don't copy someone else's work and call it your own. A lot of people said that the UI of Motive was very similar to that of Figma and I did agree, but I never knew this was happening behind the scenes. Now Figma in a district court in the US has filed a lawsuit against Motive for upwards of $75,000. There's no particular value which has come out yet. However, they are suing them for infringing the subscription agreement that Figma already has in place. There are a lot of details to this lawsuit. However, Figma is coming for its competition. So it's interesting to see this drama unfold. If you want to check out all the details, all the nitty gritties of, of everything happening behind the scenes on this lawsuit, I'll give a link to in the entire actual legal papers that have been filed by Figma, which are now publicly available on Bloomberg. So you can check it out and see what drama is unfolding. Talking about Figma competitors, one which has always been on top has been Sketch. Sketch finally finally is bringing smart animate to its tool set along with a lot of other cool little features this is really cool because now it finally is in the realm of other design tools like figma motive creaty and all these design tools it's weird to see sketch not having this feature for so many years it finally has smart animate and it looks as good as it would in figma so i'm really happy that this feature is now there so Sketch users rejoice. Finally, Framer has brought a much needed feature for designers and web developers alike. This is called Framer Plugins and literally brings the power of things like Figma plugins right here in Framer. So you have things like Askai, Doodles, Phosphor Icons, Dither, Rive, Lottie Files, all these cool plugins are already available there inside Framer with the new update. Slowly but surely, they will be bringing a lot more new plugins just like there are in Figma and they have an entire library of them. They have an entire section where you can access all of these from really happy that Framer is bringing this. Other competitors already had this, so having this in Framer is gonna be a huge one. Let me know in the comments what kind of plugins would you like to see in Framer? Are you a Framer user? 
interesting to see how many of you do this. Apart from that, Framer also has a seamless Figma and Framer sync now. Thanks to a new plugin created by Yan, this now can quickly fetch Figma libraries, colors, and assets in an instant. So if you change anything there in the Figma design system, it changes also in Framer in just one click. This wasn't possible yet, but with this plugin, we will be seeing this come alive. All right, I mentioned an event. Which event are we having? Designer, a massive design community here in India, is organizing Font Ober. And this is a four week font festival where I'll also be speaking along with a lot of cool other people. Here you'll be doing a lot of different exercises and challenges where you'll be required to use fonts and different font styles to create different graphics, UIs, etc., to bring designs to life. And there are prizes of rupees 30,000 plus chance to join their community, which is thousands of active designers. Go check this out. I think this is a must sign up and there are limited seats and it starts very early. It starts 12th October. So go check it out. Go sign up really quick. All right, taking a little bit of a break. Notially is a fantastic clean illustration pack with 200 Notion style illustrations as it's called. So if you are a fan of Notion and the branding, that black and white branding, this is gonna be right up your alley. Look at these beautiful, versatile illustrations, I must say. They cover everything from maps and dogs to cityscape to sports to science to all these cool UI related designs. So if you're a UI designer, graphic designer, these illustrations are A++. Created by an individual designer, kudos to her. Download, you can download the free pack, which has a couple of high quality ones, or you can get the full one either for $39 from here or a discounted price on AppSumo for $29 as well. If you want it just for personal use, you can just copy the image from here and paste it in your Figma. However, if you're using it for commercial purpose, kindly buy the whole thing before you do that. All right, so this next one is called Kodia.ai and I've mentioned this in one of my plugin videos I made recently. Any Photoshop file you can find, whether it's an image-based Photoshop file or Photoshop mockups, illustrations, etc., you can find millions of unique Photoshop files, which unfortunately you cannot edit with Figma, but with Cordia, you can edit every single layer. You just download the Photoshop file, upload it through this little plugin in Figma, and it converts it into a proper Figma file on the Figma canvas. and Every little thing can be edited. Shadows, text, colors, elements, gradients. Cool thing is a whole new world of designs have now opened up because of this plugin. Earlier, we were just limited to Figma files or sketch files. All right, so this next one is actually useful for everyone in a way. This is called Choppity. Essentially allows you to upload or to link any video that you find online or something that you've recorded. And then out of those videos, you can find exact phrases, exact words that you're saying with the power of AI, etc. And after you found that, you can actually make clips for different platforms out of that. And it does all of this automatically. Kind of tricky to explain, but, but it's the perfect tool to get social media clips, etc and create something out of that. So if you're interested in something like that, or if you're a creator just like me, you might find something like Choppity really useful. All right guys, that's it for this month. Very exciting things happening. I'm working on a lot of different projects which I'll keep on sharing right here on YouTube. So for that, click on subscribe to get such videos every week. And I also encourage you to press the like button because that shows me you like videos like this and I'll keep on making more. I'll see you next week. Until next time, take care. God bless.